looks like we're making a video. A very good morning to you if you've just joined us on the network here. And a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. Right, I've just been greeting our other network there. Um, ah, thanks, says H7 Obono. Mr. Martin says, do you remember the Brine Island shots? When you took them off, the whole room would light up. Yes, they used to crackle when you took them off. I remember that. And I remember once putting one in the fire and it melted. <sighs> the only problem is people used to smell of body odour. I remember that. Uh, it was a bit strange. People used to smell of body odour, that kind of pungent smell, because the nylon wasn't good at dealing with the, uh, the sweat. Ah! And also, do you remember the nylon trousers as well? So you were effectively uh, a walking transformer. They, I'm surprised that people's hair didn't stand up an end when they were walking around with it. The Brian Island shots, incredible. If you've just joined us, folks, a very good morning to you. Uh, have you subscribed to the YouTube channel? Because this is going to go very big and um, it would help if you were on board. Excellent stuff. This morning we're discussing coal mining. Whitehaven in the United Kingdom, the north of England, Cumbria, has just been granted a license for a new coal mine. And of course, people are absolutely paranoid at the moment about, um, well, having all sorts of things, you know, carbon footprints. How do we cut emissions? News flash. Until India and China cut theirs, you're not going to see any difference. And it doesn't make any difference anyway. As I say, a few farting cows and a few diesel cars, petrol cars, none of that's going to make any great difference. We've had 130 years of the automobile, the uh, petrol and the heavy oil engine, benzene, that sort of thing. Um, so I, it's not actually going to make any great difference. So there's no point in us stressing out about it. Yeah. Plus all the airlines are flying. They're back flying, which is incredible. So lovely to have you all with us and dinky do. So glad you could join us. Welcome to Scotty McClue Live. This will just give you an insight uh, into what's going on here. Um, what about Meghan and Harry? I'm very, very disappointed in them. I know they're making a few quid, and I know they're on a roll in America, but the pair of them are dissing the British royal family. Tut, tut, tutity tut. And they're moaning, and they've got nothing to moan about. They're loaded. Absolutely. Mind you, that doesn't make a great difference. Nice, says H7 Opala. Very nice, Opala. That's what I say anyway. Uh, I'm just seeing what's happening here. If we're able to, uh, to get other networks joining us, that would be fantastic. And we can see what is what. Ah, so that's that. Yep. It's not letting us do that one. There's nothing we can do for the planet that's not already been done. Well, to be honest with you, Mr. Martin, the planet will readjust. The planet will readjust and um, the temperatures will start to fall again. Uh, you know, we need to look into the science of it all. The Earth has been warming up for uh, thousands of years. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had the ice age. And it will get a bit toasty, and then it will readjust. So, you know, putting ourselves through uh, absolute hell with expensive power bills and um, 
not letting us run our cars everywhere. I mean, next year, uh, Glasgow in Scotland is going to have an emissions ban on certain cars, and it's going to cost. Um, we could continue to pollute it with non-biodegradable plastics and radioactive waste, reducing the habitability of ecosystems. Well, the problem is we don't know what to do with our plastics. Now, what I think should be happening with the plastics is they get refined back into oil. That's doable. Yeah. And uh, at the moment, I think we're selling them to other countries to do away with our waste. I'm uh, pretty sure that's unprecedented. What is H7 Opolo? We need to know what is unprecedented. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on YouTube and on LinkedIn, just for you. And Dinky Doo, so lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Now then, because uh, we can't go live in one of the other networks because it's said uh, we've had too many chat rooms. Our contemporary waste habits. Yes, it's seven Opolo. But remember, the plastics have now been around for what? 70 years, maybe. Maybe not quite in the present form. Everything plastic. Have you ever tried to buy a few strawberries from your supermarket and they're welded inside a thick plastic container that would do as a snap tin, a snap box, you know. We used to just put them in a wee bag, a paper bag, biodegradable, I said to you. That's what it was all about. Now then, if you've just joined us, welcome. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you're watching on LinkedIn, then uh, follow me, yes, and come and join us. Tremendous to have you with us and dinky do. Uh, we'll be on LinkedIn for about another two minutes. That would be wonderful. And then we shall uh, be continuing on the YouTube. We'll find solutions. Well, H7 Opolo. Everything that's happening in the world today is meant to happen. Yeah? Think about it. Politicians are maybe not the brightest tools, are they not the sharpest tools on the planet, the brightest lights on the planet, but they're smart enough not to make the mess that they've made. So it's for a reason. The only one that I really, really, really thought was close to sheer madness was Brexit. But when you realise what was behind it, then you say, ah, it was to save the billionaires paying tax. You know, so there we are. So happy billionaires and 70 million very unhappy people um, having lost their European citizenship for absolutely no reason to them. There we are. We're approaching uh, the number we need to dash. Lovely, lovely. We thank you. Thank you, LinkedIners and dinky-doo. Get following Scotty McClure.